So this is a, this is a nice transition. Uh, we got another bridge going back across, uh, well, a feeder creek, because that's the creek we crossed earlier. And uh, you can see we're kind of getting, I mean, back into a little bit of a forest. I mean, there's houses right over here. And uh, well, there's a little beach area where the kids can play in the creek. Uh, so, uh, but you can see there's no houses over here. So you, I am getting a, a feeling of being back in the forest. Obviously the sewer system goes right along here. Uh, so anyway, um, this is a nice touch, nice touch here. Look over here, kind of a swampy area. Beautiful. This, now this is getting, this is getting uh, very nice, very nice. Hopefully we'll, we'll continue like this for, for a little while anyway. We'll see, because uh, back there, you know, we were just basically hiking through a, a housing division with just a little, little throughway, and now we're, now we're getting to look and feel like we're kind of back in the woods a bit. I wanted to get this on the video. This is, uh, this is where municipalities uh, go wrong. Those are more or less lawnmowers, and I understand they're doubling as, uh, as four-wheelers to go pick up the trash along the trail. Now, if you bought a, uh, uh, well, I mean, geez, you know, any, any uh, little four-wheeler uh, ADV with uh, thin tires, you could get uh, twice or three times the gas mileage. Those things are burning so much gas, it's unbelievable. And especially at the, the high gas prices, why are you going to use lawnmowers to pick up the trash? You know, and that's that's where I understand buying new equipment, but it really would just be a quick investment, you know, to get a and, and then you can use those uh, those uh, ADVs uh, to to do other things in the community, especially if you had because you would need a basket on the back of them, but you would get a lot better gas mileage, probably a a lot better um, uh, mileage, a lot better utility. All right, that's it. I just wanted to show you the mo the lawnmower is picking up the trash. So I think the lawnmowers are going to chase me all day. But you can see we're coming up next to a pond here. More or less, it's just a it's just a, a bike path at this point through a through a communities. You know, you can see the house. Well, I guess these are houses. Well, yeah, I thought maybe these were townhouses, but no, these are houses. Nice deck right there. Look at that. Woo! comes all, all the way down to the bike path almost but look at the fountain isn't that cool so uh wonder if there's any fishing in there i see i don't see any no fishing signs there's a sign coming up here let's let's read that and see what it has to say so it's a little bit different it's kind of kind of old it's hard to see what it is but it shows the uh, salamander the box turtle the mayfly the crayfish uh no, Greenway closed the public at dusk. U.S. Corps Corps of Engineers. I'm surprised they were involved with this. Riffle pool sequence. This project was completed to create riffles, areas of rough water, which increase oxygen flow and will benefit the invertebrates such as the caddy fly or the mayfly larvae, as well as vertebrates such as the two-line salamanders and dus dusky salamanders. But here, here, here comes the lawnmowers. All right, so let's uh, keep on going. Look, look at here, the community over here built themselves a little bridge across the uh, the water there. Uh, it's pretty cool. That's what I would do if I lived here. I'd, uh, I might widen that out a little bit. Being, being an old fart, I'd, I'd be, be I, I might fall off of that thing. <laughs> you know, splash! All right, so you can see there's not much to it at this point. Here comes the lawnmowers again. There goes the lawnmowers again. <laughs> Told you they were gonna chase me all day. But uh, this is a little bit better uh, portion of the trail. Uh, you're kind of a little bit back in the woods. I mean, it's not uh, it's not huge. Now, one thing the lawnmowers are able to do is blow uh, debris. I mean, if there were a lot of leaves and stuff on the trail, I could see it, you know. But you can see, I mean, well, they just came through. But I mean, there's nothing on these trails, you know. And so they are cutting the blades on to to blow the blow the trails clean. But oh well, whatever. I don't know. I have to go back and look at that. Uh, that sign that we got on the video because it sure didn't feel like I walked three miles but it looks like I'm at the end of the uh, of the Greenway here town of Cary Greenway I'm gonna walk around here to, you can see there's another sign over here but I, I I'm just shocked that uh, I've been three miles I mean I wouldn't I guess I well I could have been walking about an hour that's probably might be probably right because uh, I was probably doing about three miles an hour well, that's a bummer. I was thinking that was going to be a all-day hike, and I said, "Well, I guess we're just going to have to head over to Tobacco Road 
I got to get home and try to figure out how to drive there because uh, if I walk there, I'm, I'm going to be too tired to go any further. Uh, at least uh, Carrie has a, a sidewalks. I mean, that's nice. But I guess we're, I think we're at the end. Unless I made a wrong turn, I don't think I did. Uh, we'll go back and look at that sign and see if I'm at the end, but we'll, I'm gonna search around here just a minute, see if there's a, you know, where, if it's going some kind of way. Let's take a look. Well, I kind of searched around. I guess I, I'm at the end of the trail. But I did want to just point out a couple of things. By the way, this is Davis Drive. So. But look at this, this is the Davis Grove Office Park. Now, can you imagine working there? I mean, I, I go out at lunchtime every day and just hike that, that bike trail and get a meal. And then the other thing that's really cool, I mean, you can see all the bicycles down here. Imagine if you live just a couple miles from this uh, middle school right here. You know, I'd tell my kid, no, you ain't taking a damn bus. You're gonna ride a bike to school. You know, and I just, you know, have them get, put them on a bike uh, in the morning and just send them down that bike trail to come right here because the, the bike trail's just down here a little ways. So, I mean, I tell you this, because I did, I, I, when I was a kid, I, I did walk to middle school. And, uh, but I didn't have a bike trail. I mean, I had to go through the woods. But, uh, and that was fun. I, I enjoyed it, you know. And then I'd walk home from school also. Uh, that, was, that was very nice. So I imagine uh, most of the students here are probably within uh, biking distance of this school. And if they can come down that bike path, they're, they're good to go. All right, so I uh, just wanted to show you, think about things just a little bit because, uh, you know, this is what communities all across the United States are gonna have to do, you know, provide access to the facilities and, and communities and uh, stores through uh, greenways like the one here in Cary, North Carolina. And uh, like I said, that's it for the, uh, the Greenway. I'll, I'm, I'm going to be heading back and I'll see if I made a wrong turn. I'm pretty sure I didn't. And then uh, maybe later today we'll get over to Tobacco Road and, and add on to this video. And, uh, and then I, I saw this, uh, I can see why they put this sign here because if I was, uh, you know, since I haven't gotten a, a good hike in today, um, I would have I would have hiked down this road <laughs> just, just to see what was down there, but it says no trespassing, no dumping by order of police department. So I guess uh, I won't be hiking down that road. All right, I'm going to head on back and uh, watch some TV, uh, drink some water, maybe get a, a little bite of pizza, and then uh, head out to uh, Tobacco Road, hopefully. We'll see how the day goes. Okay, so I was on my way back, and I met a guy walking a dog. And I asked him if I was at the end of the Greenway because I couldn't believe it. And he said, no. He said, go down to the stoplight. But you can see there's no signs here saying that I'm on the Greenway. I don't know. So I'm going to go down to the stoplight and hike, uh, hike this way. He said there's a park down here with, and then loop around the soccer field and then the, the Greenway will continue. Now, I don't know why Kerry doesn't have this marked very well, if that's true. But I guess we'll find out. Looks like this may be the park right here. I don't know. I always love an adventure. So this is the park and uh, I only see one soccer field. I thought he said fields, plural. And it does kind of look like, uh, well, it's, I mean, it's a sidewalk. I don't know. Well, guess we'll find out. He, he did uh, come up with the dog and wave me across the road. So I assume I'm going the right way. Uh, I guess we'll find out. So it's looking like this guy was right. So you could come here and carry to Davis Park and park to get on the trail because it looks like I'm diving down. I mean, I, it sure does look like a trail and it uh, looks like a tunnel's going underneath the uh, railroad tracks. So I think, uh, I, but I haven't seen any signs, not one saying that I'm on the trail, but uh, I'm on a trail, let's just put it that way. And uh, we'll go and go until this comes to an end. So, so I know I'm taking too much video, but so you can park. That's the Davis parking lot there, and look at the look at the uh, artwork here. Isn't that cool? It says NC North Carolina, and then you're coming through. Oh, we got some people coming, but that's what the tunnel looks like. Here we go. Man, I wanted to get this on the video. <laughs> can you imagine owning one of these houses, where the, the, this is what it, the trail is looking like here? And I, you know, you're basically just kind of winding through some houses. Uh, but uh, talk about cool. Oh my God, I didn't have this house that backs up to a, uh, a bike path like this. I mean, that would be, uh, that'd be awesome. So, uh, but yeah, you're just kind of winding through. Here comes the guy jogging it up. See how much uh, 
use this area gets, this is what all cities need. So I can kind of see where they're coming from by building this bridge, but you can see the houses are below the bike path and all you have is a creek down here. Now maybe this area could flood, but man, talk about money. Can you imagine building? I mean, I've been walking for quite some ways and this is just, it's just more or less a raised uh, uh, trail. Uh, I guess the, 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 it is nice to have the natural area underneath it, but you can see the houses on, well, especially over here there, if they're gonna flood, of course, I guess they are kind of raised up on brick there, a little bit higher, but uh, I don't know. I mean, I can't imagine putting this in and what the what it costs the city of Cary. Who knows how far this is gonna go like this. So the wood bridge is more or less, I just came off of the, the bridge here, and now we're going into a concrete area. I don't know how this is gonna work. It looks to me like it's just gonna turn into a neighborhood on probably a sidewalk. I don't see where the guy was, I mean, it did, you did get another portion of, well, I wouldn't call that the Greenway, just a, kind of a trail through a neighborhood, it looks like, but uh, I don't know. We'll see if we, there is a, it looks like there's a post up here. Let's see what it says. Okay, it would have been nice if they'd had one of these little posts uh, marking uh, back there on Davis Road saying the Greenway was going that way. At least I never saw it, but uh, you can see it's just going down to here and then we're crossing this road. And there's a big post says Greenway, so we're actually on the Greenway. All right, let's keep going. Okay, you can see we got a we got a ways to go. I, if I, I'm glad I found a sign. I would have been really upset if we turned around at Davis Drive. Uh, one thing I did not notice is if there's bathrooms at that park, and I will avail myself of them on the way back. Uh, so you can see we're right about well, you are here. So we got about one 1.3 miles to go to the end of the Greenway. Um, and uh, of course there's a post right here marking it on whatever road this is. Uh, well, let's see if it shows us what road that is. It's, uh, oh, this is Waldo Road Boulevard is where we're at right now. We just crossed that. We walked down the sidewalk a ways and then made a left onto the Greenway. So let's finish this off, baby. And uh, I don't know, you got the, well, then here's the Crabtree Creek Greenway. Uh, I don't know, I might, uh, we might take some of that. I mean, boy, I tell you, you can just really get around back here, can't you? I mean, look at that, that kind of goes up this way and then you can come over to this way. Uh, boy, I tell you, the trail system here in Cary is just outstanding. This looks like a Bond Lake, I can't wait to see that and uh, we'll see if maybe there's a, well, there's probably some bathroom, well, yeah, there's a bathroom there. So, yeah, okay, so there, there you go when you hike this way on the trail, there's lots to see. Let's keep on going, look at this brick, isn't that nice? I always like the transitions, you know. Let's just keep on going. So here you go. We're just kind of winding through a neighborhood, but I always love the architecture. Look at the look at that uh, the the boards that are actually bent over to make it kind of a hump bridge, and uh, and then you're coming into uh, so you're going across this creek right here in in the neighborhood. Man, talk about like I'm living in a neighborhood. Look at these houses. Holy moly! But uh, and then you, of course you're coming into another bridge, going back across with the wall. I mean, there is some serious money <laughs> in this bike trail, <laughs> you know. And once again, they bent the boards. See the architecture? I think it's just a very nice touch. Uh, and then with the wall here, and then it looks like it's just going to continue on, and then it's turning into asphalt here. So really uh, beautiful. Um, hey, a little news for you. Uh, Elon Musk just took almost a 10% stake in Twitter. I thought that was an interesting piece of news. And then uh, what was the other thing? Uh, there's some other things in the news. I'm just kind of listening to uh, to the uh, the radio here. What I don't know what we're coming up on here. It looks like a, maybe some sort of a, a garden. I tell you what, I'd, I'd, I'd turn that into a vegetable garden right there if that was the city. So I just wanted to catch this on the video. You can see these are mulch bags. And they've got a few trees. I would plant, I don't know if these are fruit trees. I would put fruit trees in there. But it looks like they're just planting pine trees. Why not turn this into a, uh, a community um, uh, garden for uh, vegetables? You know, especially, here, fruit and nut orchard. Okay, so they are, kind of. Uh, that's good. That's good. So, um, yeah, that would be right. right now. But what an addition to the community. I'd just let the community come and pick the uh, the nuts. Uh, they got a children's play area down here, right in the in center of the community. Let's see what this sign says here. These are uh, longleaf pine. Yeah, see, I, well, I mean, I guess you could log them someday. I don't know. 
Uh, I, I still would just make this all vegetables and stuff and let, have, a, have a community uh, garden, you know, where everybody can come and work on uh, to growing tomatoes and stuff like that. But look at this freaking house. <laughs> I mean, that is insane. And <laughs> got, the, got the fence around it, I guess, uh, to make sure nobody wants to come up there and steal the grill. I don't, I don't know how they do it. They'd have to, they'd have to carry it down the, uh, the bike path here. But uh, anyway, and then, of course, these, these are always nice to have. See, here's a place where you can ride your bike and... Uh, you know, pull the kid on a basket behind you and then, you know, put your bike right there. And I, I so, hope, I assume there's places to, I'm looking for a bench where you might sit and have a picnic while your kid plays. There's got to be a place to sit down here. Oh, there, there they are. See, the three benches are all the way around it. There you go. What a nice touch. All right, keep going. So here we're coming up on another, uh, uh, you know, fork. And it uh, looks to me... Like uh, to get to the bike path, I bet this, see yeah, see the concrete up there? Well, that says, great, well, I guess it's just marking the entrance, but you can see up here, it's got a sign for bicycles. So I think you could, there's probably, well, let's, let me walk up there and take a look. Cause, cause we're heading out into another tunnel. I just want to see if you can bike along the side of this road, which would be a nice touch. You know, every community should have a bike path next to a road uh, in places where you can't just cut through a forest or anything. Once again, you know, they're planting trees in here and that'll be very pretty, but I would still, you know, put in a, you know, even more of a community garden for growing vegetables, but let's get up here and take a look. So it's more or less a sidewalk, uh, but you know, a lot of times you're not supposed to ride bicycles on the sidewalk. I always do, because I tell you, when you get out here on the road, you know, all it takes is an old dude that, that my dad, you know, it got so that he would just kind of drift all over the road because when he was 80 years old, he, I wouldn't get in the car with him. And uh, and then, of course, you know, you, there's always the danger of somebody on drugs or alcohol, uh, you know, how they could even come up on the sidewalk and hit you, but that's kind of doubtful. They'd have to get over that curbing to hit you. And then, of course, this way, it's just more or less a sidewalk. But anyway, and then, of course, the brick is a nice transition, so... You know that's good to have, and I'm glad that they got that sign saying you can ride bikes on the sidewalk. But let's uh, let's get get to the tunnel. All right, I'm gonna try to get the bluebird on on the video. I'm walking slow. Oh, there he goes. All right, let's let's move over. Let's see if we can get him. Let's see how close I can get. There he goes. He's up in the tree. You see him? Boy, that is one beautiful. But look at that blue on that bird. Oh, there he goes. All right. Well, I won't pursue him no more. Well, this is nice. Uh, they got a little sign here to tell you what road we're going under. So that must be the Cary Parkway above us. Uh, and then, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you that other tunnel had, uh, it was uh, motion sensing lights to save the city money. I thought that was a good touch. Uh, you know, because the new green deal, baby, the new green deal. Let's, let's get the, hello, hello. <laughs> and of course, always nice to have these concave mirrors so that somebody riding a bicycle doesn't mow me down. All right, let's head on around the turn here. So coming along the bike path, uh, see it's just winding more or less through the houses, but then you got this right here. Check this out, it's like a little uh, picnic area park. Uh, I don't know what the rope's all about, but uh, or these, I wonder what these pegs are for, I mean, I don't know, hang a coat on them? <laughs> I mean, you tell me, man. I, I always get the weird stuff on the video, but uh, why well, they got a bunch of pegs sticking out on those sides of that? But I, boy, I guess you could have a party here, actually. I mean, and then you got these, uh, I guess that's for a volleyball net with those tires. And then I don't know why it's a basketball goal right here. I mean, I'd, I, well, it'd be hard to dribble on. I, I would think they, why not just put some asphalt down right there? I mean, if you, Maybe the community put the, put that basketball goal there. And then it looks like you got some storage over here. I, I don't know if this, oh look, it goes, the basketball court goes all the way back and forth. That's interesting. And then I don't know what this is. Uh, maybe uh, maybe when, uh, when it rains, you know, during the winter or it might freeze over in here. I, I don't know what the purpose of that is. And then of course you got the stairs uh, going up into the community here um all right well i just thought i'd show you this along the way i thought this was pretty cool uh once again ropes going well all the way up i i don't know what the point of the rope is uh i guess they're just preserving those areas maybe i don't know it's called the uh they got a sign over here the zam b z's zambezies maybe it's their property or something but i can't believe that it wouldn't be a uh, city property but Anyway, at least you could have a picnic along the way here. Let's keep going. 
I wanted to show you, you know, we're more or less walking beside a creek. But you know what, if I lived here, I would wait until you got like a major storm, man. I mean, you know, just imagine. And then just put on a rain suit and come out here and walk this path. I bet that creek would just be like a river, you know, and just watch that water flow like crazy. Because it looks like everything slopes into this creek. And, uh, well, I mean, of course, you wouldn't want to be here if it came out of the banks. But, uh, but you know, I, as long as it stays below those banks, I would enjoy just, just looking at the creek and enjoying the rain on a... On a warm summer day, <laughs> not during not during the winter time. Look at this, kid's got a treehouse right next to the uh, the uh, my bike path here. So, uh, but I know I just wanted to show you the creek as as we're moving. Can you see what I mean? Every everywhere there's the water dumping into the creek. All right. So here's a little bridge over the creek. I thought you might want to get a look at the creek from above it. And then of course this is on the other side here. And we're moving moving across. Uh, well, it's nice. You know, here's a bench for you. And then let's, let me show you the bridge. That's what the bridge looks like. Okay, got a guy coming. All right, so that's it. Let's keep going. And put it in the bank and save up for your next car. I said, you can buy a car with, you know, five to 10% interest in three years versus at that time, you can only get it for like a five-year loan. All right, so I guess um, <clears throat> that'll be it for this video. Uh, it was, uh, it's been a nice day. Thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, I, uh, you know, luckily that we found that, uh, that portage out because <laughs> there really hasn't been too many places to hole up in the woods where because it's a pretty active trail too you know a lot of people out here today and uh, I'd have to go pretty deep in the woods so that I they wouldn't see me because uh, I don't know that's uh, not trying to gross you out or anything but backpackers you know you learn you just take this strip the shoes off well you didn't have you know to pull the pull the pants off and just you know and then squat like a bear in the woods there you go peace out stay free Thank <laughs> you.